Hello YouTube, this is Jaybert1992 with your first C++ tutorial. This video is going to be more of like an introduction to C++ and what my tutorials are going to cover, the primary focuses of the tutorials, as well as how to code in C++. Basically, how do you get your code to display on the computer as a program? So to start off, a computer program is a set of instructions for a computer to follow. This is known as the source code, or the source of where the code comes from. It kind of makes sense. It goes hand in hand. So there are many different languages that a computer can be written in. Java, C, C Sharp, COBOL, uh, etc. But for these tutorials, we will discuss C++. C++ will compile the source code that you type with your keyboard into object code. This object code is known as the machine code, which is what the computer understands, but the human eye cannot. Basically, it converts it to a whole bunch of zeros and ones and a whole bunch of nonsense garbage that we don't understand. So how to code. In order to code in C++ and any other language, you will need an integrated development en environment, also known as an IDE. The IDE will talk to the compiler, and the compiler will translate your source code into object code. Remember, C++ is the compiler, C++ is what translates the source code into object code. We will be using the CodeBlocks IDE, which is freeware, it's completely free, available on the internet. And CodeBlocks is available on all operating systems, Mac, Linux, Windows. So the next tutorial, Tutorial 2, will cover the installation on Mac. Mac users must pay close attention as there will be three downloads in order to start coding in C++, including downloading the compiler or the C++ libraries as well. And Tutorial 3 will cover the installation on a Windows machine. There's only one big install, but there's everything's grouped. So depending on if you're Mac or Windows, you can either skip over 2 or skip over 3, or you can watch both of them. For these tutorials, I may or may not use my Mac to compile and the reason why I would use my Mac is because I like the microphone better on the Mac and I don't have to bring out all of my recording equipment because the microphone on my laptop sucks, which is a PC, Windows PC. So I may use the Mac. Now, there may be little tiny variations with, you know, if you're using system functions, an example, you know, if you type in clear, everything in the terminal will clear on the Mac. But on Windows, in the command prompt, you have to type in CLS. So them little things, hopefully I'll catch and I'll be able to distinguish the two. But anyway, enough of me rambling on. C++ history. C++ derived from C uh, by, I'm not even going to begin to pronounce this guy's name, Bjarn Straustrup in the 1980s. And C was derived from B by Dennis Ritchie in the 1970s. And B was de derived from BCPL. If you want to know any more information about B, BCPL, or even C, um, you guys can check Wikipedia, Google, whatever. Now, what does this, the plus plus mean after C++? Well, it's a C++ uh, related operator. And basically, it's just a cute pun, C++. It's just kind of making fun of it a little bit. Now, C++ is designed for high efficiency and it is compatible cross-platform, which means it's if you code something in Windows, well, you can take it over to Mac, and as long as you use standardized coding, which in my tutorials I will be teaching you guys just the standard coding. So for those of you curious, you know, Visual Studio, how that is Microsoft-based, Visual Studio will only work on Microsoft Windows machines you can't take a Visual Studio code and run it on a Mac or a Linux, it just won't work. But C++, you can. C++ is cross-platform. So the coding is the same, but the implement eh, implementation, which is the behind-the-scenes work, how it's converted, may differ a little bit. So the purpose of my tutorials are to educate beginners the ways of C++ and to provide a reference to intermediate and advanced programmers. Each tutorial will cover a separate piece of C++, so I'll cover varying topics, overloading functions, member functions, classes, structs, 
uh, if statements, etc. You will be able to join these pieces together to be a proficient C++ programmer similar to a puzzle. So I'll show you all the pieces and you guys on your end will be able to put all the pieces together and come up with some pretty sweet programs. And I will try to keep these programs and examples basic just so I get the point across. If you have any questions or run into a video that may not be clear or if you want additional information on a topic, maybe my example is too simple and you want to see it in action, more complicated, whatever the case is, please let me know in the comments so I can address it and consider it. So good luck and happy programming. Thanks a lot for your support.